Hey there, it's Rachel from Paper Cravings. I'm a graphic designer and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a pattern overlay in Canva. So firstly, what is a pattern overlay? So you've probably seen digital papers before where they're a pattern with a colored background. A pattern overlay is basically the same thing only there's no background. So instead of a background you get a transparent area instead and you can choose your own colors. So you can color match something, you can choose colors that um, match your brand, that match the project that you're working on if you want to match like color match washi tape or something like that. Um, if you want to use a set color scheme for all of your products then you can use pattern overlays to make sure everything matches. So you can add your own color in here where it's all um, see through. So typically I use them in Photoshop but you can also use them in Canva which is a free um, online sort of like Photoshop but not as good and it's free. So these are some of the overlays in my shop. I have a whole bunch of different patterns to choose from if you're interested. I do also have a free polka dot one which you can download from my blog which is all about the house printables blog.com. So let's go to Canva and let's use an overlay. So once you've created your little um, username then you can choose anything from their pre-made designs so even though I do have Photoshop I like to use Canva for just quick things like my blog post graphics and Instagram posts because it has a pre-sized template so it's really easy to use and then I can just create the template update the text and re-download it instead of having to wait for Photoshop to load because it is a big software it can be a little slow sometimes so Canva is good for just quick things like that not really sophisticated designs so I do all my printables in Photoshop and I just use this for quick basic things so let's just do a desktop wallpaper so if we click on that and if you do want to use custom dimensions you can just click up here and enter them in in the box Right, so we've got our template and then we need to upload our overlay. So you just navigate to where you have it saved on your computer. You want to left click and drag to drop to bring it in. Um, so with each of my overlays you'll get them in the black version and then also the white version. So we want to left click and drag then drop and now it will start loading over here. So in the meantime let's choose a background color. So let's just go with this pink here. If you did want to choose a certain color that matches your brand, etc., just click the plus sign and you can choose from the color wheel or just scroll along here. Um, you can also enter in the six digit hex code if you know what that code is. If you use a uh, color tool thing like Design Seeds, it will usually tell you what the color code is so you can just type it straight in. Alright, so now we want to use our overlay. So we've got our background, we need to click on the overlay and it will now bring it into our template. And then we want to left click and drag it out to resize it to suit the design. You may need to zoom out. And then left click and drag so it's off the edge here. So we've got a little bit showing, a little bit off the edge which is not showing. And then drag out. So my pet hate is when you've only got half of the design showing on the left and the right sides so we've got more on this side than this one so you want to make sure that it's fairly even um, I'm really OCD about this you don't have to be as OCD as me if you don't want to but I just like to make sure it's even so it looks consistent and clean and balanced and professional not tacky um, looking alright so we've got our overlay in there and then we can change the color of the background you can add other elements if you want, like text, or you can add a box and put in um, your monogram or whatever you wanted to do. So if we go into elements, let's add a shape. Let's add in a circle. I like this one. And I want to make that one um, pink. I'm just going to left click and drag to make that a bit smaller and put it in the middle. So one of the things that I hate about Canva is it's really annoying to align things. They don't have just one button that you can click like you do in Photoshop. So you have to wait until this dashed line appears um, down the center and then we know that it's aligned in the middle. And then I also want it aligned going across this way. So we've got it aligned in between here and here. Now I want it aligned between this edge and this edge. So you just need to drag until that other dashed line appears. So now we've got four appearing so I know that it's perfectly in the middle. And now I'm going to add some text. So you don't have to make a wallpaper with your overlay. It's just something that's quick and easy to do. You could do whatever you wanted. You create whatever you want using the overlay in Canva. So let's add some text. That one looks cute. 
and let's just say we want to put um, our name so let's just type in my name and I don't need this established thing I don't know how to get rid of that back text and delete. oh no all right let's pick something that's more simple let's just type our own text and then I'm going to change it to white because white always looks good with a colored background and then I'm going to increase the size of that to let's say 56 looks pretty good and then left click and drag so that it's in that center again I need to wait till the other lines appearing doesn't want to so I'm just going to eyeball it. This is one of the reasons I hate using Canva to align things. So if you're doing something quick then it's good but if you want it to actually be perfectly aligned and you're doing something a lot repetitive then I recommend using Photoshop. So there's a quick wallpaper that we could use and then you can go download and I always choose JPEG and then just hit download. So you could do a wallpaper, you don't have to put your monogram or your name on it, you can just get rid of that and just have the pretty pattern and then choose a different color um, or you could do things like gift tags or labels I do have another video on how I use Canva to make labels um, if you don't want to use Photoshop you can use lab uh, Canva to make labels things like gift tags um, address labels etc so basically to use an overlay in Canva to sum it up just locate where it is saved oops on your computer just hit word then and go to uploads, drag it in and then just click to apply it to your template and then you can just resize it to suit. So that's basically it. That's how you use an overlay in Canva.